Hello, hello, it's K1K13, and uh, today I will be reviewing Leone Abacchio version black. And I think my next video will be either Trish Una Black, I'm pretty sure, or a podcast, either one of those two. But yeah, so today we will be doing Leone Abacchio. And this is the Winter Festival Winter Figures for Medicos, only for JoJo, that were hosted last winter, but they finally got a release recently, I think uh, beginnings of February at the vent. They were sold at the vent for like 8,000 yen and then they had the online lotteries which i think those don't they don't shut the, they don't ship those out until like uh the mid of this month i'm not entirely sure but uh yeah they sold some at the event so people who were at the event they put them for sale on the aftermarket and these are the last members of the part five squad that get black versions and we finally get to move on so so in in total i think we got geo black narancha fugo mista Bruno and Abakio. All right, well, here's the box. Uh, you know how I always start my videos, pretty much the same. Um, so for some odd reason, Abba uh, got the same colors as Speedwagon. Not exactly the same, but I'm pretty similar. Um, pretty clean colors though, so I can't blame them for reusing them. But like I said, for all of the part five gang they should have just used like some good matte black boxes with some white lettering or something like that it would have been so freaking cool but for some reason uh medicals decide to go a different route so you gotta let them do what they gotta do sorry for the turn paging i'm trying to uh the back promo poses actually look okay you know the poses they book they put in the back of the box I think because of his lack of articulation, there there isn't that much crazy accessory um, back poses. Sorry. So this is uh, like I said, if you buy a Leone Abacchio, but this is the Wonder Festival version. If you buy them, resort to this video to see what uh, to see that you received everything inside your box, because this is uh, I'm showing you what you will receive in total for what you receive inside the box, so what you're expecting. So in case you wanted to see if you're missing anything, this box, this video is going to show you that. And see, you get here the base, which is pretty normal, but they give you they put some new bases stands in there and instructions like usual, which they show you where the joints are located and all that ship you some other things they show you uh, like their website their number yeah just instructions of their website they usually put a lot of it i've actually never taken the time to actually translate with any other thing i think the translates would be all over the place because it's a lot of writing or typing on this paper uh and the wonder festival does come with the text plate which i think they will do a standard release of this figure but it will not come with the text plate. I will show later what the text plate says. So this is what you will receive in the box. These are all the accessories you will be receiving all of, and ready for you just to take a quick look. And it's not a lot, but something better than usual. So I appreciate Medicals for uh, including the Moody Blues hands. I didn't expect they were to do that, but I appreciate that from them. But yeah, they look pretty neat. I think it's always cool to receive different types of uh, hands. And here are the other hands, which are pretty basic. There's nothing too crazy with them. For hands, it's usually like the basics. I get, I like most companies even do that. Every toy manufacturer just, most of their hands are pretty basic. And these figure, these hands are okay, the fingers. Uh, I, I, I do appreciate that they look oh, okay this hand does have like to put the teapot on it so I guess that's kind of cool too but uh, for some reason setting up the teapot was actually kind of annoying and it wouldn't stand on there really I guess you have to get it really into that palm which is unfortunate but uh, it is what it is what was more difficult for me was actually adding I don't, can't remember if it's actually T or P I think it's T and you can use if I'm not mistaken you can use um Giornos, if you have it, his a little cup, it's like full, so you can use that. But like I was saying earlier about the hands, 
a lot of them are just kind of basic uh this one has like a little thing on it which i ended up taking off anyways a little i took it off with something else but uh yeah like they have like the limbs i guess they have the good shape which is pretty cool for medicos but there's not much detail on these hands which is you know rather unfortunate but it's just hands at this point and these are the t's they look kind of funny i mean it's something though i'm pretty sure just it's just resin so a little see-through uh i appreciate medicos for adding that but let's be honest that we're not going to really use it and this is the moody blues head pretty cool i think medicos could have added a screaming head for abakio i don't see the reason not to which was pretty odd for medicos i don't see what the reasoning was they could have easily added a third head uh but yeah uh, this green is actually a little bit um darker green than i expected i i thought it was going to be like more of a lime green but i guess because it's the dark colors they went with the dark color so here's a uh, abakio i'm gonna show you off his other head if i can get this camera going yeah here's oh his neutral head though is absolutely amazing and i appreciate medicos like man sometimes with their faces they go so hard so swapping out hands is actually kind of easy um i did a couple of them and most of them were pretty easy to uh swap out which is really good i think uh medicos is definitely on a streak right now they've been doing really good all the pegs have, have you know good had the same circumference circumference whatever for the hands that they provide and that's always a good thing for me at least i feel like having to not struggle putting on hands you, you, know, you use that force you could potentially break off the oh a big thing big f big oof is um the stand is kind of difficult to which we call it to actually put in there because you have to move the head so you you know you can't look be you can't the head can't be looking straight and um have the peg in there which is weird you have to take off the you have to take off the you have to move the hair around and swapping out the head is pretty easy uh you can hear the click which is i think medical is on a streak right now i think my last video i forget mr mr black you can hear the click easily than normal so i appreciate medicals for that you know circumference and here's this text plate which says this i've been kicked out of this country's society the only place i feel at peace is when i am with you bucciarati uh so yeah i appreciate medicals for doing really good on the heads lately and their hands and like I said, I was testing out all the hands and they're pretty good. No, no extra force needed to swap out these hands. Medicals, man, I swear, they're just doing pretty good lately. They've been on a good streak. A lot of the hands and heads are easy to swap out. I swear there's some figures where I have to like really put a lot of uh, force into my fingers, which can cause the hand peg to break and you don't want that. the sculpt i think uh they think they snapped on the sculpt there's since abakio kind of has a, a, a not basic design not bland either but as a character goes for uh jojo his uh design is pretty uh normal so that's why medicos i think they didn't suffer when they were making this figure i think the goth pants they did pretty nicely they sculpted it pretty nicely uh the a the a on you know the belt looks a bit fragile a bit cheap but I mean, what are they gonna do? You know. Also, the torso is very nicely sculpted into the, like the like his clothes are like connected with like the little I don't know belts or whatever. <sighs> Sorry, I'm I'm not really up to fashion like that. I'm not that good at it. Uh, the coattails are actually pretty nice, and I don't see the reason to lift them up. I feel like his uh, character didn't really uh, didn't really put his coat ever lifted up that high but I, I appreciate medicals for adding the coattails uh ball joints to let his kit his uh legs move freely not that freely but better than uh normal heads on the heads are really nicely sculpted uh medicals are always top notch when it comes to like sculpting in the faces the screaming faces could probably be a little bit better but but most toy manufacturers they don't really uh sculpt the heads no more or you know um like a face plates a lot of them don't have uh what do you call it uh sculpt they're not sculpted in like there's no intents for the lips there's no intents for the eyes they're just kind of scanned onto the face and medicals at this time they're not doing that hopefully knock on wood 
that they don't ever go to that. Uh, the gold trims on coattails are nicely sculpted, so nothing's wrong with that. And like I was saying earlier, the green is like an avocado left out for a day. Well, I was expecting more of a lime green, because that's what I imagine when the, what do you call it, the promos were actually out. Uh, I, I thought it would have been a little bit more cooler with the lime green, but it is what it is. So yeah. As for articulation, I wouldn't be too crazy about it. I mean, I don't don't go into this figure thinking you're gonna have a lot of crazy poses, but I think you'll get the poses that you man my peas. I think you'll get the poses that you want uh, out of Bakio. I I wouldn't expect too much from him, uh, the figure at least. But he's a good figure, so. I can see why people would go for it. He's, he's actually kind of better than a lot of uh, Part 4 figures. Which makes sense, right? Because Part 5 figures came after Part 4 figures. So, I can see the reasoning behind that. Um, like I said, I, this is the end of the video. Um, overall, I give this figure a B. Uh, a, because... I didn't give him an A. I got a couple reasons. Uh, they could have done a little bit better with the circulation, but... They didn't really make a new figure it's the same mold just different colors which is a bummer but that's how it is uh they could have gave him three heads easily uh the figure in the back when you have to put the arm people call it pedestal into the back hole of his uh back they didn't uh take into consideration the hair blocks the hole when it's he's looking forward so you have to turn your head you have to turn his head a little bit to put the uh, pedestal in there which is a drag honestly it's kind of goofy I know I never understood why people would make figures like that but overall I give this figure a B are you gonna have fun with him yeah not too much fun is he gonna look magnificent in your photos yes okay guys uh, thank you for watching hopefully you guys stick around uh, if you like this video give it a like if you use this video and you watched it give this video a like and uh, if you guys are in for the long run give a subscribe no, never hurts to subscribe worst case scenario i'm just gonna add another tally to your subscribers to your uh channels you're subscribed to it I might not even pop up on your feed so what's the difference all right thank you guys my next video definitely will be a podcast or it will be trish una version black which i will try to release pretty soon because uh these video these figures are already kind of out in public oh yeah i forgot to mention in the beginning of the video that this figure is only available in the aftermarket now thank you guys and see you guys in the next one peace